Okay, dear student, let us see what is there in this question. A spring of negligible mass is compressed and placed between two stationary masses. One is small m, another is capital M. The mass capital M is twice of that. So that is already given here. The spring is released so that the masses move in opposite directions. What is kinetic energy of mass small m divided by kinetic energy of capital M? So my dear students, uh, in this question, like we have done a similar question uh, that is also available in uh, on YouTube already. So IB has asked a similar question to this in earlier papers also. So again, I'm going to do this. So what is happening in this is, this is um, basically an expansion is taking place here. And uh, this question can be taken to be, uh, we will be applying the principle of conservation of linear momentum. This is compared with the collisions. So these are known as super elastic collisions. Beware, there is no collision there, but still it is known as super elastic collision. Elastic collision is in which energy is conserved. Inelastic collision is in which energy is lost. Super elastic collision is in which energy is created. So earlier, before that, before when we were, we have not left it, the total energy is zero, like the masses are not having any energy. But after that, kinetic energy of the masses is created from somewhere. That is why it is known as super elastic collision. And this can also be compared with the case of explosion. Like the initial kinetic energy is zero. Final kinetic energy is not zero like that. So we would be applying the principle of conservation of linear momentum first of all. So initial momentum for both of the body is zero equal to the final momentum after you have left them. So let us say this body is going back with V1. This body is going here with v2 and so uh, let, let me take this as v2 and this as v1 because i'm going to take this as positive and this direction as negative so the momentum will be mv1 minus small m v2 accordingly we can find the ratio and what is the ratio of the kinetic energy here so this can be written as half m1 sorry uh, half m v2 square divided by half capital M which is 2m into v1 square this is the ratio that we want to find half and half is getting cancelled out m and m is also cancelling out so the ratio that we want to find is v2 divided by v1 whole square this is the ratio that we are going to find it from here so this is going to the other side this will become 2m v1. We want to find v2 by v1. So v2 divided by v1 is equal to 2. And this is the value that we are going to substitute it here. So it will be 2 into 2. So our answer will be c and the answer will be 2. So this is how we do this question. What are we doing it here? Number one, we have applied the principle of conservation of linear momentum. We found the ratio of the velocities. And then we have, uh, we go for conservation of energy principle like the kinetic energy is coming out of this so it is compressed earlier there is a potential energy which is given uh, into this uh, spring that is converted into the masses but we are not going for that kind of conservation of energy principle because uh, the values are not given x is not given so we are not going there so this is how we do this and the answer will be two will be c let's see the mark scheme question number six Yes, the answer is C. So this is how we do this question. Thanks for joining. Please share the video with all of the students. Please join the YouTube channel if that is available in your country. All the best. Bye. See you in the next video.